Hello, my name is GK. In this video, I'll show you a simple technique to reduce the download size of images for responsive web pages. Consider a simple web page like this. Typically, we happen to show some images on every website. And the problem is, if the images are of high resolution, and if the web page is being viewed on, let's say, mobile devices or small devices, then it's very difficult to maintain different copies of the versions of uh, images for different devices separately. For example, consider this case. On this web page, we see three images here. And the page itself is responsive, which means, for example, let me resize that one. And we can see the image size being changed. How to make the download size optimal for the device that is being viewed. In this case, the images themselves are very uh, high resolution. For example, if you look at it, image 2, it's too huge. Uh, it's about uh, 2,504 pixels by 1,600 pixels. Whereas, on the screen, the image size is 350 by 234, right? So this is too unoptimal. I mean, irrespective of the target size, it's uh, downloading the whole image and then displaying it. One simple technique that people use is, for example, consider this uh, HTML here. It's very straightforward. So I'm saying image source equal to. How do you make sure that whatever the device is, whatever the size is, you only send the right size of the image for the particular target. You may have heard of something like Cloudinary, which is uh, a media library. It's like a CDN that lets you upload images and link them directly from your web pages. So for example, what I can do is I have these three images that I'm going to upload to the CDN here. And once they're uploaded, I'm going to put the link directly there with a slight uh, configuration adjustment. For example, the link here is and this one says image 1 and then image 2 is image 2 and then finally image 3 is so let me save it and then let me refresh. Now the images are getting loaded from the CDN, which saves the bandwidth for your website and it reduces the time, page loading time. But what it does not reduce is the downloading size. You are still downloading the same complete image. For example, if you look at it here, it's still downloading the 2500 pixels and targeting it to the 350 pixels, which is once again bad, right? This is where something like Cloudinary JavaScript plugin comes into picture. Cloudinary recently released a JavaScript plugin that lets us dynamically request for one particular image size based upon the target, right? So how do you use it? It's very simple and straightforward. In our case, let's add the Cloudinary JS as the script tag there, and then at the end, uh, the script here, actually I can add both here. So it requires jQuery. So you make sure that you have jQuery installed like this, jQuery, whatever the version. Now, so to use this plugin, what is required is instead of sp specifying the source, specify a data attribute like data source and then you specify a special class something like this CLD dash responsive and then finally the third step is you add something like a dynamic transformation for example in this case it is W underscore auto 
dpr underscore auto c limit which means what i'm saying is my width can change so make sure that you recompute the width based upon the target width uh, of the parent and then make sure you take into the you know retina display also into account so which is like auto and then you make sure that the cropping is um, limited with respect to width or height so there are multiple options if you want to go into detailed options set so there are multiple options here for example how do you construct that kind of uh, you know url so let's say you change the width and height here you can see the url here c underscore scale h584 w300 i mean 3122 etc and then you can rotate them and uh, do whatever if you want to blur it you know blur it and uh, if you want to add some overlays if you want to hue add saturation i mean uh, improve the saturation etc you can do it so all that can all of these can be done from url itself that is the advantage but if you do it like this you are hard coding the values again whereas the plugin lets you specify something like w underscore auto which means hey i don't care mm -hmm or I don't know at this point of time what my width is right now but whatever it is whenever it changes make sure that you update it we are going to use that here and uh, so so using this plugin involves three steps one is m make it as a data hyphen SRC like data source and then add a special class like this that is the second step and third step is specify this w underscore auto so the first step is data hyphen src second step is class and then third step is w auto so let's try it out okay let me go back to my web page and uh, okay now let me check okay now you can see it drastically reduced the size so the natural image size it is saying as 358 by 240 and uh, whereas the target size is 350 by 235 you can expect couple of pixels uh, this way or that way that is because of the aspect ratio and all but that this is far better than 3000 pixels or 2000 pixels versus 300 right so an order of magnitude of 10 times reduction in size now what happens if i resize this for example okay now you can see The image got bigger, but what is the natural size of the image? Okay, the natural size it says 680 pixels, whereas the display size is 663 pixels. It is far better than 2000 pixels, right? From 2000 pixels to 680 pixels, it downgraded the original image and then displaying it in a target of 663 pixels. So this way, you can reduce both download times because you are maintaining these images on CDN and download size also because dynamically you are able to query the size and if you look at it here the url w underscore auto instead of w underscore auto you can see w underscore 680 dpr underscore 1 etc which is computed automatically by the plugin so go ahead and use the jquery cloudinary plugin and uh, specify this cloudinary responsive specify this data src specify this class w underscore auto you're done good to go Thank you very much. Have a nice day.